taught you how to do this stuff? You are right. I learned it by watching you. All right, people of YouTube, we are back again. I didn't realize that this was going to be a two-part video, but as it turns out, um, there are two different things that you can do with the probe. So this is going to be part two of the 14L setup probe. Um, what we are going to be doing today is on page 52 of the owner's manual, setup step seven, the adjusting beam landing and digital uniformity. So uh, what it does is um, it automatically adjusts uh, the different sections of the screen. So um, you adjust the whole area of the screen in sequence uh, by using a set of points. So that's what we're gonna be checking out today. Um, as you can see, this probe was calibrated 5, 12, 16, which was only you know, two and a half years ago, uh, not, not too long ago. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna go through that now and um, check it out here. So um, basically what we're gonna do is go down to setup, hit enter. We're gonna go down to white uniformity, hit enter. And by the way, I'm on channel 093. So uh, put your BVM on 093, which is the white background screen. So that's important. If you have it on any of the other screens, uh, it won't work. So anyway, put it on channel 093. Uh, here we are at the white uniformity screen. We're going to go down to auto, hit enter. All right. And as you can see, I got some crazy stuff going on in the corner there. So um, we're going to see, I just switched my uh, orientation. Um, I realized I didn't have it set correctly. And when I changed it, my screen in the corner changed. Um, the, the beam landing deals with the magnetic poles of the earth and uh, so when you're moving the bvm around i switched it to the actual correct orientation it is facing northeast right now i actually had it set to southeast so i'm trying to fix it and actually have it correct uh, it's one thing i'm trying to accomplish um let's try this again since i was talking too much uh, auto enter all right so it wants to set the probe here so we will gently apply the probe. You can see the color is changing. It's changing like crazy. All right, now it wants to do it up here. There's a little notch on the top of the probe so you can unsuction it. So as you can see, it's doing its thing. The corner is already better. People act like the probe doesn't work, but it, you know, obviously does. Uh, let's see, it's still doing its thing. So far, so good. All right, now it wants to go on the bottom. Stick it on the bottom. So you can see the corner blipped a little bit off color again, but now it's back. So it seems to go through some different magnetic settings. And the screen is obviously nice and green now. Top left again. Yeah, and they really you really go through each section a lot. I still haven't done the center, I don't think. Not the dead center or the bottom center. Procedure complete. All right. Well. Looks good. So it's all done. So anyway, that was part two of the uh, BKM14L uh, test, the white uniformity test. Um, if you want to check it out, it's page 52 of the manual, but uh, let's take this off. But yeah, the whole screen is completely white. 
Um, the it looks like, uh, yeah, I can't see any uh, any issues at all. White is perfect. So, uh, well done, Sony 14L. Um, definitely recommend this. You know, I've heard some people who don't who have had bad experiences with this. Maybe it comes down to the calibration. I'm not going to say the other people are wrong, but I mean that's not been my experience at all. Uh, my experience has been these work great. I don't know if it's just this particular one is is within spec um, or what, but uh, anyway, um, hope that was helpful. Definitely keep an eye out for one of these and uh, we will check you next time. Thanks. Bye.